everyone, welcome to the Graceful Skinny. Today I've got a review for you for a steam toy that is included in the Temper Doodle third grade kit. Um, now I will say to you, I am not entirely sure the exact set of zoobs that are in the third grade kit. This is one that we just happen to have. So when I was going through the kits and noticed that this year that they have zoobs in the third grade kit, I wanted to do a review of the toy that was already on our toy shelf so that you could see what the deal with it is. Um, we particularly like the zoobs. There's something that I got for my daughter when I found, I found this set, I think on Prime Day last year, where there was, and it was pretty well reduced. And, um, Zoobs are actually something that I got to play with as a kid, even through like middle school, I played with these. And so when I saw that they were on sale, I was super excited about it and wanted to get them for my daughter. Um, she's been playing with them since um, about Christmas. Uh, I will say, uh, and at Christmas she was about five and a half and she might have been a little young to figure it out. It's taken her time to want to open up and play with these and start to explore them. She's been curious about it and she's kind of played with them a little bit, but um, it, it's taken her a bit to really start to want to build with it. Um, but in the last few days, she's really gotten good. Um, she's even been making men. And the nice thing about them is that the way that these are, and let me turn this extra light on. There we go, that should be better. The way that these are and move, it actually moves like a knee would. So we were able to kind of have a little conversation about that. And so her dude actually, well, Her dude sits. See? And what zoobs are, it's basically, let me, really kid? What are you gonna do, right? So, uh, curling iron from our hair set. Um, so, there are different types of zoobs, and each color is one style. So there are the types. I think that's all of them. Five styles, yes. So each can each type has different types of connections. And this area in the middle is so that you could. Okay, maybe you just can only do that. Or let's see. That's right. That's how you go. Give me a break, people. It's been a while. So you could do it like that. And then you could build up further. Um my daughter's kit came with, and as you can see, she doesn't quite use it how they intend it to be used, but that's okay because the glory of the set is it just, it's imagination. And um, now I will say, for those who are wondering, like a lot of the steam toy, the steam category things in the curriculum kits, I would call this a um, definitely a toy. It's an add-on fun toy. I don't think you're going to get much out of this curriculum wise other than just letting her letting your child play with it. Um, they do have some models that you could have them try to build. Um, but just like Legos, just like any other building toy, there's not any, it's, it's a toy, it's fun, it's great, but if you're trying to pinch pennies, and this is one of the places where you're wondering, you know, we've got so many building toys already, do we really need this extra, do we need to spend, drop this much money on this when we need curriculum? Um, I would say that this is an area that you could drop, and there would be no schooling weakness there. Um, having it sure for a kid who likes to build, this is a great, 
great product. Um, it encourages creativity, it encourages models. Um, you can see that you can actually make things like the DNA, the structure of a DNA, or, you know, like a crown, or the, there are so many things you can do with Zoobs um, that they're just a fun toy. Um, anyways, I thought I would share with you. If you have any more questions about Zoobs, please leave them in the comments below, and I will try to help you answer those questions. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. Oh, I forgot my ratings. Um, for Zoobs, I would give it, um, and again, for those who are new to my channel, my rating scale is 10 being absolutely must buy, total worth every penny, zero being I threw my money away and I feel like I was, I kind of feel like I was ripped off. I'm going to give this a solid eight. And I haven't looked at like the pricing of them. I know they can run a little bit pricey, but they are durable, they're, they're strong, they're durable. I think anything from four years old could handle any, as long as your kid has some motor skills to snap. And there does take a little bit of strength to snap and push that in. So maybe like a strong four-year-old or a four-year-old with help, all the way up to, again, I had these as a kid and I played with them in middle school. And I think we even used them and pulled them out when we were in high school for like science projects. Like we had to like build the DNA or something. I can't remember exactly, but um, they, they are well lasting. I have yet to meet an age of a kid, person, adult or child who doesn't love them. And so they're just a really cool building toy, which is all it really is. So keep that in mind when you're going for your budget cherry things. Um, so like always, please like and subscribe. If you have questions, please leave it down below and I will be sure to try to help you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.